We're here together with you. Say, say hi. You want, me, you want me to do it? Yeah. Hello, this is Neon from Firesign Tarot. She's here to do her tarot exam. So she can show the world that she's ready to read. And um, I don't have a set way of shuffling this because I'm awkward and these are very big. Forgot this. Do you know how to shuffle a normal deck of playing cards? I usually do it like this, so the opposite of what I was just doing. So I forgot these are really big. She's reading me, by the way. So yes. this should be really interesting. Do your face reading, and then I guess I'm next. <clears throat> oh, she's going to read both of us? No. Oh, oh okay. okay. I thought you're, we were going around in a circle, and then you do me next. But that's Oh, you want me to do you next? I don't know. I thought that would be fun, but it's okay. I mean, okay. it would be fun. I can do that. I can pick one of you to read. I don't care. Okay. Mm. Anyway, so Neon decided to do the spread that I made up like 20 minutes ago, so that's pretty cool. Um, feel free to use my spread, too, if you guys want. I like it so do far. Do you need me to touch the cards? Do you need me to ask a specific question or just, like, push some energy? Just push some energy. I'm going to push some energy and not ask a specific question. I just live um, with Neon, so I'm pretty sure I just, like, radiate I also did kind of just zone out, and I'm figuring that's my way of, like, cleaning energy. So. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing that these are really the only cards of the Marseille that are difficult to read, but I'll figure it out. I'm already looking at them, and all of them are hard to read. It's really not hard. It's really not. They're really not. You just have to look at the damn picture and actually meditate and reflect on the pictures and figure it out. So, first, for her energy is Three of Wands, but it's in reverse. I will go through what they mean once I get them all out, because it's easier for me that way. Lay them out, there. sister! Do it. Energy. I forgot to redo my yeet on my finger. Kind of upset. Okay, calm down, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, I'm a dumbass. Well. When I put that comment on that reader's um, reading this morning, I spelt king wrong in French. Yikes! Oh, well, I'm a dumbass. Oh, well, Zs. You didn't do it under the fire sign page, though, did you? Yeah, I did, actually. Oh, yikes. -a. So I spell a word wrong in French, okay, big fucking you know deal. What? Hmm. You popping up, so come on. What is it? Oh. Eight of Cups. <laughs> I keep going. Keep going. I'm sorry. You're fine. Keep they, they going. You just scared me a little bit. They, they like to pull things with them. I'm sorry, they get in the way all the time. <laughs> also, I have no method to mine. That one didn't necessarily fall out, but it didn't want to sit in there right either. So I was kind of like, hmm, somebody want to say something. So I went with it. I'm very indecisive and my cards just like jump with it. So <laughs> I'm a little too go with the flow. So it's kind of like, hey, so you're saying hi. So we're going to go with you. That one we're not going to because it was shy. So maybe it not. Just calm down, sweetheart. I understand. I understand. This is the first card I'm going to talk about. Do you remember when I opened the Marseille deck and I accidentally left this out because I thought, oh, this can't possibly be part of the deck? Yeah. Is that the Two of Cups? Yes. So we've got this is the, the Two of Cups. Five of Wands. These are all in the upright so far? No. Um, three of Wands is reversed. Eight of Cups and the Five of Wands are both upright. Mm. So now let's go to the opposing force. Mm -hmm. Our outside force, whatever you want to call it. Our opposite person. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is going to be fucking interesting. <laughs> also know that I'm not 100% the best at knowing what these mean, but I will try my best to decipher them. Because I kind of know what the Five of Wands means, which is not a fun one. No, it's really not. That's never fun. That's why you should do a spread that you're comfortable with. Well, and hers is easy enough to interpret right. yes yes that's why i was like just go with hers because it makes it easy to figure out what's going where and i haven't really researched spreads that well to figure out one that works for me i've looked at spreads not a lot of them speak to me so i just was like the only hey, one i really this. know is the one where you got the three and then mm. that's that doesn't say much though 
This one I like because you get more information and you get, you know, mm -hmm. both, both sides. You don't get it nearly as vague, which I kind of hate. No offense, universe. I know that's your thing. <laughs> I know that's your thing too, sweetheart, but it does not help me sometimes. <laughs> Remember, I said I like to talk, but also I'm very, very weird about mine. I don't like to pull if I don't have to. <laughs> I, it's the ultimate last resort. I like to just go with what's meant to pop out. Really pushing it here. You're at like You six better have already. a good fucking camera. <laughs> with a lot of fucking memory. Just saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm surprised mine went as fast as it did. There are a couple readers on YouTube that have put me to sleep because it took so fucking I'm long. Sorry. Just saying. Well, I'm sorry it's not wanting to pop anybody out and it's offending And I know I'm putting out. people to sleep because it takes me a half hour to go. get something down. It heard Three me. of cups. It's okay. It's okay. Look at you go. What, me? You shuffling. It stresses me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I already know where this is going, so <laughs> I'm sure, sorry that she is very stubborn. And, uh, I and can not tell giving. you that um the uh, next deck, the next card that's probably gonna pop out. So <laughs> is my water over there? It's right here. Very hot. All right, sweetie, I love you, but you gotta work a little bit with me. Me or the cards? <laughs> the cards. The cards. <laughs> Can you give me my um, Bloodborne deck? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if I need that many. How many is in there? Because if it's... Oh, yep. Just throw it back. <laughs> throw it back. Yeah. Because yeah, if it's two, then I just like... Yeah, no. One, yeah. That would have been... You need that. What is it? Five of Swords. What the five of swords is. A lot of motherfucking squabbling up in this. Gee. Well, I mean, like I said, I know what five of wands is. That means, yeah. you know, pinned down, tied down. Not a lot of wiggle room there. Not a lot of wiggle room. Not a lot of wiggle room at all, is actually. That, is that, are you like poking fun at her? Oh, you have a card fall out. I had two. Oh, here's one of them. I don't know where the other one is. Leave my sex fetishes out of this. Jesus oh, Christ! Oh, kidding! Wow. Just kidding! Okay, we Just might as well kidding. put both. Okay, this... They both fell out at the same time. What is it? Um, this one was... Six of Wands. Um, where would this one go then, there? I think it would just be, like... With that one? Yeah. Okay. If they fell at the same time, I Um, the other there. one is the Two of Cups. Oh, Jesus. And that goes along with the Six of Wands. They go in hand in hand, apparently. Uh-huh. In this circumstance. Uh-huh, she uh -huh. says. Look at her face. Uh -huh. Yup. Uh -huh. All right. So it goes her. There in the middle. Her, her. problem, their problem. Okay, your problem. problem. What is that? Seven of Coins. Was it reversed? No. It was upright. <laughs> because, uh, it was upright. <laughs> if that was in the reverse, it would make perfect fucking sense. Just say it. It's upright. It's upright. I don't remember what that one is. No, oh, you can tell me what that card means. I remember what it means. Never mind. I take it back. Even looking at it. Like, I know, it, doesn't it have something to do with, like, money, I'm assuming, or no? Is that too It can. Basic? It can. It means, like, some kind of... You can, see? Well, how do you interpret the picture? This deck is different from the universal. Because I would put my input on what I can interpret from that, but it's you, the, the reader. You have to interpret it. I mean, you see it... a dragon, dark cave, and its Some... back is to seven pentacles on fire. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure all the pentacles are going to be on fire. It's dragons. But... 
Money not important. Maybe. I mean. I because it's got its back turned to it. So it's not focusing on that. So maybe that's what it is. It's not focusing on the coins. Mm -hmm. It's not its priority. God, this Bloodborne deck cards are fucking huge. Mine are just really long. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> not, not you. Oh, not me? Okay. No, no. I'm going to keep sorting the Marseille deck. When she says, sweetie, she's talking, she's talking to the talking to deck. the cards. Yes, okay. yes. I try to be very nice. I'm not being in any way mean to my cards. I refuse to be. Okay, sweetie. Calm down. It's okay. You good? Oh, sh Don't scare me, please. Oh, please stop. We're not asking, we're suffering, baby. You know what? You want to pop out. Oh, I don't know what this symbol means. Is that queen? Let me see. Page? Looks like queen. Looks like Whatever queen. it is. Looks I like queen to me. Yeah, oh my god, a, why doesn't it tell you? It does. It's that little symbol on top. Pretty sure it's queen. Oh, well, put it down. Maybe. Put I don't know, out. but put it down. Put it's it a down, sword, right? Yep. Yes. Is that his? That is. Yeah, that's his. That's his. <laughs> so now. Myself. How do you know it's a him? How do you know this is a oh, him? Oh, whoops. <laughs> the opposing force. <laughs> I can tell you the opposing forces. I already know. I know. Did it's a card beautiful. flip out? Am I high? Uh, I think you are. I think you're high. Nope, it flipped out in my hand. Oh, That's okay. Fine. I don't know how the hell you got high, but... Well, I sure don't recall it, so it must have been good. See, the only thing is when it gets to those ones, that's when it gets a little hard to decipher them. Really? But I said you're not playing right now. Come on, you want to play? Because I never play with you. We'll play. All right, sweetie. Just give me a card. It's the last card we're going to need right now. Is this baby socks for Valen? They're old. I just <laughs> don't throw anything away. Actually, I'm saving them to make a rug. Oh. All right, caught That's a cute. YouTube video a while back. Mm hmm so any of his old baby socks that I can't find the mates for, mm -hmm. I'm going to cut them up and make them into a rug. That'll be cute. He could take it with him to college or I'll something. I'll get a little more aggressive with her. Yes, my dick is a her. I bet she appreciate that. Maybe she likes it rough. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Been a little Maybe too Maybe she gentle. likes being tied down. I'm going to shut up now. Oh, my word. I mean, that's a little Leave more common Leave my sex fetishes out of this. That's a, that's a little more common now anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> a lot of the things that people used to go, oh, that's a little risque. They're like, that's that's really that's really not risque. Not no. anymore. No. no, there is nothing too taboo here at Fire Sign Tarot. I don't know how to control my All mouth. right, so pretty sure this is Knight of Cups. Is the struck what you both are dealing with together? Your mutual problem. Okay. What's at the bottom of your deck? At the bottom of my deck? Mm -hmm. At this exact moment without shuffling? Mm -hmm. The Nine of Cups. So lack of emotional fulfillment. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, this is your exam, not mine. Mm. Well, okay. Well, we already know what the page, or the Five of Wands means. Mm -hmm. Side down. Really no breathing room. No squirming room. You can't really, like, you know, you're kind of pushed up against the wall, literally like the card shows. Mm -hmm. Like this one card shows in this art. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a dragon doing it, but right. same concept. Okay, so I'm pushed up against a wall. Okay. Was that the first card out? No, what that was, was the, first the third. Card? What the was first the... card was the Three of Wands, which in this one it shows a dragon holding three wands. Kind of seems isolated. It's really hot. I mean, a dragon would normally be happy, but he's looking behind him. But it's in reverse. So, could mean you're not looking back and you're not, 
not wanting to be isolated. Possibly. This is my interpretation of it since it is in reverse, so it could mean the opposite. I mean... Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't catch what you said. What? <laughs> what I got from it was isolation. Isolation. Looking back. I'm because looking he would, back and isolated. Okay. But this means you're not wanting to be isolated or look back anymore because it's in reverse. Okay. So it has the opposite meaning. Okay. That's what I'm getting from it. Okay. I'm isolated. I'm tied down. Okay. But in this case, you're, you might be deciding to not be tied down anymore. Okay. They, they, they could play off each were other. They both, okay, were they both in the reverse? No. The five of okay. wands was okay. upright. Okay. What's that? That is the Eight of Cups. That was, it eight was upright. Cups. Do you know what the Eight of Cups means? From the picture, it looks like it's flying away from something. Going somewhere far. Trying to escape, maybe. Not necessarily to a bad place. Because it's going towards the moon, which the moon is beautiful. So maybe it's to somewhere beautiful. Somewhere better. A nicer place where they can relax. And be at peace. Okay. <laughs> I'm picking there's, up what you're putting down, sister. There's now, also we're the opposing force. Okay. We have the Three of Cups, which has three women holding cups. Looks like they're celebrating. There's an itty bitty dragon in between them. I don't know what the dragon's relevance is, but it looks like they're celebrating of some kind. Which, I mean, is great and all. But also, that's okay. the first card. Okay. Second card was the Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. two, three of which are glowing, two of which are not. Can't really tell if the dragon's happy or angry. Just kind of looks like it's there. Mm -hmm. So basically, oh, like, seems like only two, three of their swords are worth using. The two, other two... What am I passing? A universe. Okay. Looks like the other two kind of... Uh, you so know, what does that tell you? They might be losing some of their power. Because they only have three swords out of the five. Since it is the five of swords. Mm -hmm. There's two that are just there. The three in front are glowing. I could be wrong. Losing their influence maybe is more appropriate. Losing their power. Losing their upper hand on things. Okay. Okay. And then for the third card we have a... Buy one, get one. Bogo! <laughs> we have the a, Bogo? The Bogo is the Six of Wands and the Two of Cups. Both in the upright. Six of Wands is a little confusing because it's a man riding a dragon. And I don't really get the Two of Cups, but it's a woman with a dragon. Um, Almost like she's making an offering. I kind of want to put my interpretation in it, but it's your interpretation. It's your interpretation, so what is it myself. telling you? Which one? This I know what it them. means, but you need to tell me what you think it means. It seems almost like an offering, like okay. a peace offering. Okay. But that doesn't mean it's going to go right, I mean, obviously, because that's just what could happen if someone makes a peace offering. This one kind of looks I don't know how to read that one without overly possibly interpreting it. You're not going to overinterpret. Kind of looks like they also want to go to war. So it's like peace offering, but also war. So it's like two conflicting things, which confuses me further because it's, they just kind of nullify each other out. So it could mean peace offering that backfires because it doesn't work for them. Because... That's what I got out of it. Because otherwise, why would you ride a dragon in, uh, unless you're going to war? Okay, so we have what you're dealing with, which we already discussed, which is the Seven of Coins, which I explained my interpretation is money isn't important. Isn't or is? Isn't, because it was upright. Because the way he's looked, He's got his back towards the money, towards the coins. And there's a lot of coins. Am I wrong? That's how I'm interpreting That's it. That's how you're interpreting it. He almost looks like he's mad at the money and doesn't want to look at it. And every time he does, he kind of gets an attitude at it. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from it. 
Your cards have dragons on them. I know what a normal deck would mean. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, anyone's spiteful. You'd be spiteful for this. I'm, I'm going to tell you now the cards are correct. Your, your interpretation of the cards so far is a little weird, but the cards have all been <laughs> correct. Are, is it a weird bad? Or am I getting there with it? You're getting there, but in a roundabout way. That seems like the way I would do it. This one is the one I'm confused about because I don't really know which which one it is. I know which one the night one is usually. Or I could, yeah, this should be the night in the middle. That's the thing that confuses me where my box go. It's over by you somewhere. Oh yes, let me just dig in my ass. Hey, hey, this is a family channel. We, we curse. Um, we. <laughs> We curse and have been talking about sex fetishes your entire reading. Okay? <laughs> well, I mean, I can try at some point, can't I? Okay, so let me see which one that is. I'm making grown men blush right now. Oh, wow, that's, that's just fun to do. <laughs> Why is this all in Spanish? That does, oh, okay. No, oh, because just... you're reading the Spanish side of the booklet. No, I'm actually on the English side. It just goes really fast. Okay. I'm only doing this because I don't know swords. Okay, yeah, that would be the queen. This is the queen of swords. Because it's a female. Because there is, there is a male version of it, and that's the king. I know, because well, I've queen of it. swords energy. See, but the person doesn't help. They think too highly of themselves. I thought they like to sit there and look pretty. Oh, Jesus. I'm just I know saying. exactly who you're fucking talking about. I mean, if oh, anything God. else screams, they like to sit there and oh, look God. pretty. That makes it look like, because I've seen some of the other queen queen cards for these, and <laughs> this one is the one that really sits, <laughs> says, I want to <laughs> sit here and look pretty and do nothing else. Whereas some of the other queen cards, they, they actually aren't sitting, they're doing something, or they're standing, or, you know, they have a different air to them. That one just, I'm pretty, I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> That's all I get from that. And then I'm pretty sure that is, it could be the page, no? Okay, there's a knight and a knave in this. There's not page and... A knave is a page. page. Okay. So and to... some of the decks, it, and the, you know, the knave of the page is the princess, and the knight is the prince. So it all depends on the deck. Okay, I'm going to assume this is the knave then, not the knight. Who? This one, because it's see. a female. I don't want to assume that, because I don't like to assume anyone's gender, just know this. Because that's that's not nice to do. Okay, that what does the be... picture say? There's no pictures in here, there's just words. messages of love so you would the problem together love is the problem chemistry would that be the problem possibly because cups represent love passion emotion and she's no drinking no it. fire is passion okay and she's drinking it she kind of just going for it there so she not really, you I know, sipping it. I don't drink a lot. I wish I could. Well, if I drank, I would probably be able to cope better. <laughs> I'm not saying Just you're saying. drinking, but sorry, it, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the fact I'm doing a spread, and um, I use a different deck because I couldn't understand my first deck, and I pulled out the same card. <laughs> so one person is celebrating, but also they're kind of losing their battle. The opposing one, the opposite. They're they're, they're going to try to make a peace offering and it going backfire is what I get. Unless I'm wrong. That's one side of it. Don't to sum yourself. it up, to sum it up, that's what the one side is. That's the opposing force, outside force. Okay. Your side is moving away from isolation, escaping to a better place, whether that be physical, mental, whatever. But also, tied down, 
squirming, not really getting nowhere. Something to do with money, possibly, or just... That's part of it, yeah. And trying, probably trying not to look at that. To be honest is what I probably get more out of it now that I, you know. The seven of pentacles is patience. I'm telling you that right now. Okay. It is patience. Okay. So that card in the reverse would have made more sense, but... Okay, so basically, if I looked at that card... It can also represent waiting for fruit to bloom or blossom. Oh, so that's but your problem is patience, so... So, yeah. It makes sense. You're Sagittarius. You have You're a fire sign. I'm fucking impatient. But that makes sense also with this card, because, yeah, he's not looking at it, because he's like, nope, nope, not yet, not yet, not yet, but he's eyeballing it. Not yet. Can't touch him yet. Nope. I had to give you one hint, That's but you fine. still passed. Yeet. You passed. I would, however, re recommend read your book. Yes, practice try... more. I do try not to read it. And get to a deck that is easier to interpret that vibes with you. This one is actually easiest out of the two I have. The other one is more like, I, I explained it to um, Emma earlier that mm -hmm. um, that one, this one here. <laughs> Dear Neon. That. You have passed your exam. Awesome. We only hit with the C plus, but you passed. Six minutes. <laughs> this this is what my other deck looks like. It, 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 oh, it's it, the little baby one, the little baby Egyptian one. I love that. That one. is even harder for me to decipher because it's not really got like pictures like these that I can like try to look at. Did I at least get this one nail on the head? Yeah, <laughs> because that one's really obvious. That was really obvious. That what was obvious. What does Queen of Swords stand for again? Hmm? What does Queen of Swords stand for? She's a fucking cunt. She uh, Swords represent she stands in her power. She's gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. She'd be a bitch. She's cold. She's icy, especially when she's not getting her way. Look at that. That says cold, she makes icy. Perfect sense. So what it's saying is. But I can't believe I just said the word you. cunt. You're going to have to edit that out. Oh my gosh. Mm. We'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, it's at the end. It's fine. It's but, fine. Hello. That's been me. Oh, you're going to have to end it. I yeah, I it. am going to have to end it. Calm yeah. down. Speaking of someone who with no patience. We're all fire signs. <laughs> we know this. Me, wa fire with a little bit okay, of Okay, no. What am I doing? You're doing a reading on me. I don't know. Deuces. Wow.